guys, how you doing? Hope you've uh, had a good day today. Um, this is Faye, Diamond in the Rough. Um, tell me about your day. I kind of goofed up <laughs> yesterday. I have my um, video uploads scheduled so that when I record at night time, I, I go through, I edit, I create the video, I upload it. Basically then I go to bed and then the schedule um, it comes out and I don't have to try and remember them I don't have to remember to um, publish it because um, it uploads overnight while I'm in bed something's happened to my schedule where it's not scheduled properly so uh, I kind of had a late night last night got out of bed late and then I wandered into here into the craft room and um, discovered that what I had scheduled for an 8.30 release in here WA it actually um, hadn't released so I had to quickly publish it and go from there um, I now have to go and investigate and find out why why that happened so hence why yesterday's video which I talked about that I do schedule it to come out you know um, at 8 30 in my time in the morning and it didn't end up happening it's like oh crap <laughs> after I turned around and said that's one of the pros the process that I've started doing so my apologies that that uh, recording didn't come out when it normally does I don't know what's happened I've got to go and investigate further um, but yeah and our dog our neighbor's dog is going off again um, now how was my day <laughs> I slept in <laughs> I am um, so last night I I attended my very first zoom meeting or well, zoom get together um, would probably be the way better way to put it and oh my gosh so talking to the heifer uh, Marissa um, I she started set up the meeting sent the emails out and I'd actually I was the first one to join I was like oh my god so funny to talk be able to have a conversation directly with somebody um, that I've only corresponded via um, YouTube lives which is basically um, a bit delayed but yeah so I was really really excited about that um, we'll see what happens see whether I can attend more like that and see what's going on um, I know at the moment I've been missing out a lot because I haven't had I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube so I've got to get back into watching YouTube and keep keep up to what everybody's doing um, now that I'm back on track so yeah um, my day <laughs> I slept in so the zoom meeting was started at 11 p.m. my time uh, 10 a.m. I think it was Central Standard Time in the US and uh, People were going, oh, I've got to go and have lunch. I've got to go head off and get lunch and that. And I'm still talking there. Uh, and, um, well, let's put it this way. One o'clock in the morning, I've actually turned around and said, I need to go to bed. <laughs> Hence, I, uh, yeah, I was up late, which is what I should, what I'm not supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be avoiding the late nights. Um, which then, yeah, I... I don't think I got out of bed until after midday which yeah not good I'm not supposed to do that but oh well <laughs> it was still worth it definitely worth it um I just realized I've got that cover in the little glass face what else is going on okay so yesterday I showed you a quick look at a cushion that I've been doing a diamond painting that I'm turning into a cushion um, I had a blowout with that <laughs> uh, I will show it I haven't done the fix to it yet but I will show it um, quickly show you though this is what happens when you overstuff a cushion and it blows out yeah so um, I will be doing a next step recording on that one 
because I was at what have I done? I've done one, two recordings so far, and I should have been doing a third recording, which is a finish. But the third recording is going to actually be a fixer upper. Um, so when you when it all goes together, you'll see all the different steps. Um, but obviously, each one it's taking about twelve. I'm leaving about twenty four hours between drying times for what I'm using. To try and make it really set properly and you know but obviously the blowout happened because i hadn't let it set properly but yeah keep an eye out that video is still being made um what else i haven't done anything else the oh the in the zoom meeting i pulled out my diamond pulled out my cross stitch not my cross stitch my beaded cross stitch and I was working on that and then I couldn't concentrate on it so I uh, put that away and started diamond painting again. Hang on a sec. Hey buddy. Bo. Come on buddy. Yes you can come in here. I set up a foot cushion for you. Here. Here. Come on. Cush, cush. On the cushion. Put a cushion on the floor in the craft room for him so he can join me. Hang on. Can we tilt across? Can you see him? <laughs> Just there. Bye bye. Hey buddy. Hey. Hello. Hop up. He doesn't jump up so. All you're getting to see is his tail wagging. <laughs> Alright. Back to where we were. Howdy guys. Booties will be needed and it's winter so I might be able to get away with putting booties on him. See if I can find some. Because trust me I can't make them. <laughs> okay. I'm wondering whether you heard that. That's the doggy door as he goes out the doggy door. I've got my door open. My window open so I can hear all the sounds it's all around the house. Um, What else? Not much else. I will say they've um, WA they've changed the um, lockdown restrictions. I shouldn't say lockdown restrictions because you know I don't feel like we're locked down. Well, probably because I'm not really. I'm still doing everything, unfortunately or fortunately, depends on which way you look at it. Um, but because of the way WA has been for the last week. Uh, I think the last seven seven days there's been three of those days there's been no new cases um, so you know which is pretty good uh, yes yeah, so they are going to lift some of the restrictions we had one of the restrictions was gatherings you could only have two people uh, in, a, in a gathering <laughs> that was it uh, right down with the exception of weddings which was five which was the the celebrant or the priest or whoever the two witnesses and the bride and the groom so that's now gone up to ten and personal training if you do personal training you can now be in a group of up to ten so you can now gather in groups of ten still with the what the one and a half meter social distancing rule um, and that can be inside or outside so yeah <coughs> I downloaded the Australia's got the COVID app I actually did download it um, it didn't ask for any personal information all it asked for well name and I could have given it given them any name um, my postcode uh, and basically that was it allowing Bluetooth connectivity um, so that anybody that else has got that program on their phone it'll register that I've been near that person if that person gets it I get con gets co gets coronavirus I get notified that I need to self quarantine so it's really I see the benefits of it whereas Nathan not not gonna do it <laughs> 
No, they're not getting my details. They're not tracking me. Well, no. They only need 40% of the com forty percent of the country for it to be actually beneficial. As far as I'm concerned, I'll do anything to make it beneficial, you know, to, anything to help uh, the community to be able to go back to living as normal as possible. Um, they're now allowing camping again, so we'll probably start camping again. Yeehaw! But obviously, they haven't um, dropped down zone restrictions, regional restrictions. Uh, I suppose in a way that's like in the US, you've got your states and then you've got your counties. Well, that's pretty much like us, where we've got our states. And then we've got our regional areas, our regions, which are probably your counties. So that's the way we refer to it. Um, you know, my son and my, my my son and his wife, and my mum and my stepfather uh, live in one region where there is no cases at all, um, which is really good because you know they're well. My mum and my stepfather are tad old they're in that risk zone and obviously my son and his wife they're expecting so what we're hoping what i've got my fingers crossed is that they'll lift the regional restrictions not the interstate but the regional restrictions um, and then i might get the opportunity to go down to west prince when the bub's born because uh, I can't, well, can't at this stage. And our big trip, our big trip going north for five, six, four, five, six weeks, um, we've had to can that because we just can't do it. Uh, if the regions don't come back in time, yeah, you know, we can't, for planning, we've actually slowed right down on the planning and it's gone on the back burner and basically It'll be 2021 when we do it. Oh yeah. So instead of that, I'll, if they open the reasons up, we will go down to Esperance and spend some time down there with family. I am hoping the lifting of those restrictions means that my son can be in the hospital with his wife when they um, have their first bub. I'll wait and see. I'll have to have a chat with him. I'll chat with him about three three days time when it's his birthday <laughs> and we'll find out more. <laughs> so yeah. Um, otherwise today I did absolutely nothing. I shouldn't say absolutely nothing but basically I achieved not much around the house. Um, I think that's about it. I didn't even take by for a walk today. That was how bad I was. <laughs> That's how slack I was. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Good day, but quiet. Nathan went to work. Mind, he did work in the passageway again today while I was still in bed. Um, he was filling holes still. I was supposed to, one of the things that I was gonna do was the floors today. So normally I go right through the house and I do the floors. Um, and that was a plan for today after the mess he made yesterday. I didn't want to do it till he'd finished doing doing the stuff he was doing and uh, I decided not he's still going so I didn't do the floors <laughs> and thankfully tonight when he came home he got to and sanded the walls a bit more uh, so I am really glad that I didn't bother with the floors. I will have to do them either in the next two days before I go back to work. Uh, but at the moment we've got white powder going everywhere. Yes, it's been vacuumed up now, but has to be done properly. Vacuumed and get the steam mop up and pick up all the loose, very loose fine dust. But yeah, that's about it. Um, slowly getting there with the glass. I did have Kathy did actually ask me. So this was Gemmet. I did actually. I think I did respond to Kathy. Uh, this is Gemmet, which is who where I got this one from. Um, my, I got the 
original stuff the the um steampunk girl steampunk lady i should say um was from gemmet and you know so it's this is where i got um this one from uh, is gemmet they're in mandurah um <clears throat> I'm not sure. Every now and then I see, oh, we, I think they've closed their door so you can't walk into the store, but you can still order online. So for you guys that are uh, out, there, out there in the world, the only de delay that would with getting anything from them is wholly and solely if um, uh, you were wanting something urgently. Because <laughs> freight in Australia is near impossible. Uh, still going on the Sophie and Toffee saga. <laughs> so I got notified Sophie and Toffee, my two two of my subscription boxes, so February and March subscription boxes. Australia Post registered them on the 23rd of March. So now it's the 26th of April. So there's more than a month. Um, so that's February and March. I don't know about my April box. Oh no, my April box has just. I think that's just been shipped, and I've just been charged for my May box. So basically, I've paid for four boxes so far that I'm waiting on them. So I will not cancel because I want these boxes. I, well, it's not going to stop those boxes, but I don't want to stop getting them. But I will say it's going to be so much fun when they do finally arrive. And it's so hard to see. That's one thing. Sophie and Toffee have uh, the Elves box. They have a special Facebook group for it. And you know, you get people, you see people are complaining about it. And I can understand why they're complaining. But it's nothing that Sophie and Toffee can do about it. I mean, I know my, my boxes are in the hands of the courier. Um so yeah that they've sent them <laughs> it's just the postage system um we have very limited flights coming into perth very limited um we have limited trucks coming in we still have our uh, rail freight coming in but yeah it's it's all been slowed down because they, obviously they close it down the borders so it makes it a lot harder to get stuff in um but yeah i think that's about it nice short one oh 18 minutes by the look of that um i will say guys um thank you for yet again tuning in and listening to me talk about my day which was very very uneventful I expect the next two days to be uneventful for so Monday, Tuesday. Um, for me, um, will basically be um, housework and making sure I've got all the washing up to date. Um, Monday is a public holiday, so definitely won't get my bo any deliveries tomorrow. Might be lucky and get a delivery on Tuesday. Um, but I've still got things to do. I've got to got a kit up a couple of diamond paintings um, I will say that while I'm still haven't kitted them up um, means that I'm just working on the two and that's about it uh, I suppose I better sign off here so that I can get to and do my filming of uh, the blowout <laughs> on my cushion <laughs> so I will say guys thank you for watching Give me a thumbs up. Oh look, the camera's in the right spot. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like. Um, leave me a comment. Tell me how your day's going. Um, hit the subscribe button and of course hit the bell to be notified uh, for my, my next uploads. And uh, bye for now.